Alright, um, this is my second take on doing this video, so, the last video was way too long, Vid YouTube wouldn't allow me to do 15 minutes of it, but now, here's the 10 years of racing story, or at least you can say my racing story, now, this is going to be part 1 of 2, and part 1 is going to be about my asphalt racing, and then part 2 is going to be my dirt series, but well, before I get to my asphalt racing, I'm going to show you what I did before racing. This is in 2006. It's got my name on it, Little Leagues. Um, just in 2006, here's a trophy. And this is pretty much baseball. Um, my dad got me into baseball. He just wanted me to try to get into sports. Um, so, yeah. And plus, since my autism, um, he got me some kind of special sp baseball. So, I was really bad back then. My autism was really bad. And then in 2007, oh, this one's probably harder to see. Oh, man. But it says, uh, Top Soccer Tiger Sharks 2007. Um... Uh, my autism was still bad one year later, and, um, yeah, so he got me a soccer a year later. And then now, I got into, um, asphalt go-kart racing. I don't have a picture of my very first go-kart, but, um, um, when I got into asphalt go-karting, I, I raced, the. Uh, a black cart. I don't know what type of car it was. It was probably an Amic cart. It was a. They call it a kid cart. With a five horsepower engine. I raced it twice. And then my second race. I smashed into someone. But before I was racing. I actually had my very first go-kart. And my very first go-kart was like. It was pretty much the same when I was my first race go-karts but same thing as five horsepower for practicing in like a little area that had an oval into it and so that's what happened and then after so that happened in all in 2007 and then in 2008 um uh, this is not my first uh hpv1 go-kart but I went from a kid cart to HPV1 cart. There's a motor that is, uh, let's see if I get it, right there. And then that's me when I was young in 2000, I believe this happened in 2009, I believe. It was in 2008. I pretty much got this same cart, but it was an MA uh, red cart with a HPV. HPV1 engine like this one right here and then uh, you know I was just the slowest guy like I was in a kick cart I was getting last and then um getting laughed a lot and um so yeah and that's pretty much it and apparently when I was looking at my trophies in 2008 I got third in points so uh there weren't it was in Blue Max Car Club. And then in 2008, 9, and 10, I raced multiple tracks. Like there was Stockton, Dixon, and Blue Max. Um, I believe there was a fourth track. One, two. Okay, so there were four tracks. I just forgot one of the names. And uh, Blue Max Car Club was my main track. Dixon was kind of in second place. And then the other two tracks, I didn't race that much. And, um, um, in 2008, my dad actually made a class where, since I wasn't doing well in the HP1 class, my dad made a class for, like, the rookie class, the slower class, and maybe the less skilled class. And once I got it, oh, jeez, once I got in that class, I pretty much dominated one at least a few times the way I'm looking at my trophies. And, um, yeah. 
in 2008, I was in that class. It wasn't for like a championship or actually, yes, it was, but I was just there just to win a race. That's it. And I didn't win a championship because, well, I was dominating it too much and I was going to win it no matter what. So I still have my HPV1 class and yeah. And then in 2009, I got this cart. Uh, I actually had a cart before the top cart. I had three HPV1 carts. One was red, one was, it had a purple chassis with some white body pieces in this one and of course you know top cart's always blue and everything so this was my best cart the emic was in third and then the purple and white cart was like my second best and I, I still was going I was still was the slowest driver you know I was just my, my autism was really bad back then so and 2009, I got second in points. I would have won it, but um, the only reason I was first in points is because there were only three drivers that raced the whole season, and then um, I was the only one that raced every weekend, and the other drivers didn't race every weekend, and that's how I was in the lead. Then I had one race where the motor on this was actually screwed up, where you would get on the gas, it would not go anywhere, it would go like 5 miles per hour, or 10 if it was lucky. More like 10 miles per hour, it was slow. And, and then, then other times where you would not give a gas at all, and then it would go full throttle. Well, I don't know why, so that screwed my championship. And... I was actually, put, if I would have won a championship, I was supposed to give a promise that I was going to drive a top cart, but that didn't happen. And then in 2010, it was like my last um, race of the season. My last season. It was basically, it was with the 2009 season. It was basically one season. And my brother died in um, 2010. So we raced like one, maybe one more time, and and uh, my last race I did a one lap thing with a checkered flag to do. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but you do a one lap thing for someone that died. And so yeah, uh, I don't have any other pictures except for this, but I had this is my one. This is my fourth. And last asphalt card that I ever gotten. And so, yeah, that was pretty much my asphalt series. I know it wasn't much, but yeah, but also with the lower series class, when I was dominating, and all of a sudden I didn't dominate anymore because I had one race where uh, my carburetor was an issue. Then the rest of the races, there was a cheater that did something with his motor or gearing or whatever. So I couldn't win anymore because he was cheating. And yeah, um, I don't know what else to say. Um, oh, by the way, I don't know if you can notice, but uh, you may not be able to. But there's these weights you have to add on your seat, and apparently I was super light. I don't know why yeah, I was super light back then. Um, so... This video has been on for 9 minutes, which I'm glad is under 15 minutes because YouTube will not allow 15 minute, well, and actually did allow my one 15 minute video, but apparently nothing longer than that. So that's it for my asphalt series. I know it wasn't much, but, but you know, I went from like baseball to soccer, and then I had my own go-kart before I was racing, then I raced. From 2007 all the way from 2010, so I had like maybe a three years, three years of racing, maybe even four right there. And um, I didn't end asphalt with a big bang because you know I wasn't skilled. <laughs> I was, I was to the point where I could actually kind of go fast, but I wasn't like you know super fast where I could just win. And just dominate and whatever.
So that's it. Um, my Blue Max races um, were when you compare Blue Max to Stockton to Dixon. I like Blue Max because it was like a track to always be man be it. Um, Dixon I liked because well it was a very long straightaway track. It was super big and then Stockton. Now Stockton I believe it was like a really short straightaway track. It had a bunch of turns and just it was just so many turns. And then you actually could build the track in different ways. Like they could block other um areas of the track to make it mo multiple it's like multiple different ways to make the track so i would put dixon as my number one blue max as my number two and stockton as my number three well that kind of sounded mean but that's the tracks that i raced the most that's how i would grade them like the tracks that i raced the most that's how that's why i put it that way um so that's it. Um, part two is now going to be up.